Well, I think that's all we needed, I think. Thank you for your business. Please come again. I love Tempest music. I could have sworn there was another thing to do here. Huh? Where's Renoa? She's not here? Oh well. Yeah, that was that perv guy. Uh, if there is something else to do there, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. So we're gonna hit up the Shumi village, I guess. Which, I'm going in the wrong direction. How to make a turn. And this is just a grab a timber maniac. Um, oh, apparently, oh, apparently we actually need to wait on this. Uh, so apparently grabbing the the Timber Maniacs um, affects the past, like what you see in the dream world. I don't know much about it. I just know I want to collect, uh, get them all. Apparently I missed a few opportunities for them to change everything. So I guess other than that, it's uh, time to head to Trabia. have to find out how to get there. Whoa! Oh, here we go. So, it is this direction. so good. A direct hit. This has got to be bad. I'm going in. Be careful. She just climbs up that wall like a trooper. Squall. Hmm, I thought Selfie was with you. Aren't we missing someone? Selfie, I let her go on ahead. I wonder if there are any monsters around here. Come on, Squall, let's hurry after her. Okay, as you know, just stand there. Oh, hey, some people are alive. So you've been looking after Selfie. Selfie's been a great help. Ah. What's wrong? That's not like Squall at all. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, a fun doggo. 
Let's not draw that for now. That might be a one-time one. I'm so glad I saw a selfie. I feel a lot more cheerful after talking to her. So yeah. Fabian Faculty. Young lad, what was your name and number again? Have you done your deed deed for your academy, Trabia Garden? Good deed, you ask. It's helped to rebuild this place. Let's see, for example, have you donated to the Trabia Fund? I'll give you an A. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, here's the magazine we're looking for, but. Not exactly a pleasant scene. A lot of people died here. Um, you know what? Well, it's just because we're never gonna come back here. We carried the injured ones out in the car. Me? Nah, I'm not hurt. I'm just sick. I'm exhausted from tending to everyone. That Tom Berry King, take this. Oh, someone's having a good dream. The ball rolled under there. That's the last ball. Oh no. Student VP. Gee, I wish the faculty was a little more reliable. What do they expect the student body committee to do under these conditions? Whoa! There's an aura draw point? Um, why don't we... got six of those, and we will use them well. We have to remove this missile as soon as possible. There's no more threat of an explosion, but if it falls over, it could crash someone. Ah, uh, and here we are. We're leaving as soon as Selfie comes back. We're on standby till then. Doesn't seem like the enemy has invaded this garden yet. Are they on their way? Where's the sorceress? We have to find her and... We've got to do something to show Selfie... Show... Oh, I've got to do something to show Selfie can depend on me. Why the search for alone? Alone? Inviting Squall back to the past whereas the sorceress searches for it. Could it be the sorceress that's trying to make that journey into the past too? Why did the sorceress come into the picture all of a sudden? Was she actually waiting for this opportunity? Hmm. Wonder if she was living a normal life before all of this. You know, ever since I met all of you, I've been doing some thinking. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't come up with an answer either. Hmm. Oh, there's the last ball. You got kicked over here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks so much for coming all the way out here, everyone. Cheer up, eh? Thanks. Take me with you when you fight the sorceress, okay? I want to get even. I want to get- I want my revenge. 
Um, do we have to fight? Isn't there another way? You know, to avoid any bloodshed? Yo, what the... What are you saying all of a sudden? Maybe someone really smart can come up the way so we wouldn't have to fight anymore. What are you getting at? If someone can come up with something, that'd be great. But no one's doing anything. They're all scared, uneasy. All they do is complain. They could just pretend to be thinking. As opposed to me, who is always thinking. They criticize others, but in the end, they can't do anything either. Renal, why all this, all of a sudden? What do you expect from me? I grew up in the garden. I'm a seed. Do you understand? Squall? You have to voice your feelings, or else I won't understand. You were part of a resistance movement in Timber, right? Unlike others who are all talk, you took to your weapons and fought. And now you're saying all this? What happened to you? I guess I'm getting scared. Sometimes when I'm with all of you, I feel like we're on the same wavelength, you know? But when the battles start happening, it's different. Everyone's tempo seems to pick up and I get left behind. I try to catch up, but it's no use. How far is everyone going? I can't hear anyone. Once I catch up, I wonder, is everyone safe? Will they welcome me with open arms? Is everyone okay? Will we all make it back together? When I start thinking like that, you know what, I understand. Someone might not be there. Someone you love may disappear before your very eyes. It's tough when you live your life thinking that way, but that's why I fight. When I was a little kid, I was about four or so, I was in an orphanage. Here we begin the scene where, we, where everything starts to come together. Plenty of kids, all with no parents. It was around the end of the Sorceress War, so I guess it couldn't be helped. Anyway, that's where I was. And all of the kids there, one was very special to me. Irvy, wanna play? I really liked this girl, and it made me so happy just talking to her. Seffy, whatcha playing? War! <laughs> Was that orphanage a stone house? You guessed it. An old house made of stone. By the ocean. You guessed it. I knew right away when we first met. Hey, why didn't you tell us? Yes, why didn't you tell us? Because you two seemed to have forgotten. It just kind of sucked that I was the only one who remembered. Spunky little Sophie and bossy little Quisty. That is just so weird. Huh. Hey, do you guys remember setting off fireworks? That was... this way. Just... Just roll with it, okay? I know it's weird, but let's just roll with it, okay? Sis, where'd you go? You don't like me anymore? What a shameful sight. How about this? Yeah, the ocean, the lighthouse. We did set off fireworks. 
Kids out, yo! Kids aren't supposed to play with fireworks. I'm telling, I'm gonna tell on you. Cry, baby Sal, go back to bed. If I remember this, does that mean I was there too? We all got in big trouble. Then what about my parents and Blom? The Binks and Blom must have adopted you. Yep, that's probably it. I was here. Yo, come on, stop it, Matt Matwin. Help! Matt I don't know if Matwin is. Cry baby Zell. Who's that? Na 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 na. Stop teasing me, Cypher. Oh my goodness. Cypher, my arch enemy. Wow, he was there too. Well. Cypher was there too. Except for Renoa, we were all there. Hey, that means... Yeah, I was there too. I... Sis. I was always waiting for Sis to come back. I'm all alone, but I'm doing my best. I'll be okay without you, sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. I didn't turn out okay at all. Sis, Allie? Alone. So alone was sis. She was a bit older than us, and we all used to call her sis. Was this Zell, Selfie, Irvine, Cypher, alone, and myself? Yeah. I'm not sure what the meaning behind all this is, but we were definitely together. You mean Sis is alone? She's the one that takes us back to Laguna's period. She said she wanted to change the past. I don't know why. There can only be one reason for that. She must be not. She must not be happy with the present. If that's the case, I'm definitely up for helping her. She's part of our orphanage gang. You didn't even remember who she was. Hey, Selfie, that goes for you too. It's pretty scary we've forgotten all these things. So Ma and Pa are my real parents. I wonder where the orphanage is. Hmm, so Sis was alone, eh? Everyone was fond of Sis, but you, Squall, you kept hogging her for yourself. You sure have a good memory. This is really strange. I don't think I was adopted because of the way I am. Probably the same as Cypher, too. You two must have been at Garden by the age of five or so. Even so, he's never mentioned anything about growing up in an orphanage. Nothing about this has ever crossed my mind when I see him, either. Don't you find that odd? That is strange. In my case, I had loads and loads of fun after going to Travia. That's probably why I forgot all about my childhood. That's what I think. But I don't know what's up with you guys. It's so odd that you would forget. I remember. Yes, I remember now. Things didn't work out too well at my new home, so I came to Garden at the age of 10. That was when I first noticed Safer and Squall. Cypher and Squall were always fighting. Yeah. Quistus always used to break us up. Yes, that's right. Cypher was a kid who always needed to be the center of attention. But Squall always used to ignore him. Eventually they would end up fighting. Squall could have easily walked away from it, but always took up the challenge. He should have just ignored him, but Squall almost in tears would say, I got to do my, my best my best by myself, or else I won't be able to see Sis. I guess I was trying to take Sis, I mean, Alone's place. 
I tried, but to no avail. That's probably it. Even after becoming an instructor, I couldn't stop thinking about Squall. I thought it was love. I had to hide my feelings because I was an instructor, but I've come to realize it wasn't. It was my childhood feelings as a big sister that lingered. Oh well. Poor Quistus. A misunderstood love? Actually, I'd completely given up when Renoa came into the picture. Hey. It must be the same for Seifer. I'm sure Seifer has forgotten his childhood too. Whenever he sees Squall, his inner feelings start to boil and... Is that why he's always picking fights with Squall? Why is it that we forgot? We grew up together as kids. How is how's that possible? How about this? The price we quit pay for using the girlfriend. The girlfriend provides us its power. But the girlfriend makes its own place inside our brain. So you're saying that the area is where our memories are stored? No, that's just a rumor that girlfriend critics are spreading. So if we keep relying on the girlfriend, we won't be able to remember a lot of things. There's no way Headmaster Sid would allow such a dangerous thing. But how is it that I remember while everyone else has forgotten? Well, in my case, I hadn't j junctioned a girlfriend until recently. That's why I remember a lot more than you guys. How about you, Selfie? Your first experience with the girlfriend was when you came to the Long Garden, right? Yeah... Is it because of the girlfriend that we forget? Is that why other forces refrain from using girlfriend? I have a confession to make. When I was 12, I went on an outdoor training session. I found a girlfriend inside one of the monsters I defeated. I junctioned that girlfriend for a while, so I have experience with girlfriend too. But, but, it's really weird. I can't remember the name of that girlfriend. It must be the girlfriend's fault. What should we do? What should we do? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? So what do you want to do? You want to stop using girlfriend now? As long as we continue fighting, we're indebted to the powers of the girlfriend. If there's a price I have to pay for that, I'll gladly pay it. Hey, I know. Let's all keep a diary. That way, we'll always have something to remind us. Are you sure that's what you want? Maybe that's for the best. Yeah, I don't care if I forget about my childhood when Cypher used to pick on me. What's important to me now is having the power to protect my parents and belong. They adopted me. There's no way I'm letting go of that power. Hey. Do you all remember Matron? Oh boy, it just gets spicier and spicier. She was always wearing black. Let's see. Matron, dressed in black. She's the... Very kind, long black hair. Yes, I really admired her. I see resemblance. Matron, they look alike. Wait, I just pictured her face and... Look alike? Nah, that's not it. Matron's name is Adia Kramer. Matron is Sorceress Adia. Matron? Sorceress Adia? Why is the matron... Why? You're wondering why matron would take over a country? Or fire missiles and whatnot? At this point, we probably wouldn't comprehend it even if we talked about it. You're probably right. Hear me out. Seed and garden were all Matron's idea, right? I'm not a seed, but I share the same feeling with all of you. Seeds are supposed to fight the sorceress, right? This is strange. That's right. The 
It was when I was being tortured by Cypher. He wanted to know what seed was. Matron should know. But Matron is Sorceress Adia. There's no denying that. What does this all mean? Squall, you listening? So, like, this is what I wanted to say. Remember this area that we're in. It's important. Uh, I don't know. It's not really all important. But we do come back here uh, at a very l later point in the game. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I understand what Renoa is saying. Where has Renoa been during this whole flashback nonsense? I understand, but I, but still, I'm gonna find. I want to stay true to everything I stood for. I'm sure it's the same for everyone. That's why I thought it'd be best if everyone knew we would have to face Matron. We've all earned this, heard this before. Our life has infinite possibilities. I don't believe that one bit. There weren't many paths for me to choose. Sometimes there would only be one. From the limited possibilities I faced, the choices I made have brought me this far. That's why I value the path I chose. I want to hold true to the path that had to be taken. I know our opponent is Matron, whom we all love very much. We might lose something very important on account of the girlfriend, but I don't mind. It's not like I drifted here on the tides of fate. I'm here because I chose to be here. And more importantly, we all grew up together. But due to various circumstances, we were all separated. As a kid, you couldn't really go out on your own. There were no other paths to take. All I did was just cry. But... But somehow we're together again. Just like old times, those a lot, the lots change. We're not kids anymore, we're strong enough to take care of ourselves. Make our own decisions. We're confronting a big one right now. Do we fight Matron, or not? I say we fight. Shoot for a common goal. Hey, at least go keep us together a little longer. Yeah, let's do it. We can't run from her for the rest of our lives. It's just such a bummer. I can't believe we have to fight Matron, even though we just remembered who she was 30 seconds ago. I know, but Zell's right. We can't run from her forever. Renoa? It's up to you. We're gonna fight. I think it's the only way we can move on with the lives. If that makes any sense at all, come with us. I'm sure that's what everybody wants. Look, look! A gift from the fairies! Yo, you wanna go check out Idea's orphanage? I wonder what it's like now. We might find a clue. Clue? You mean as to why Matron turned out like this? It probably has to do with something that happened in the past. The past is the past. It's over. It's done with. Despite what truth we find, it's not going to change the present. But, I want to see too. I don't know what we'll find, but let's head for Adia's house. I guess that's it. We're fighting. You guys are fearless. Fearless? I don't think that's quite right. If you think too hard, you become lost. I think that's what everyone's afraid of. I wish we didn't have to fight either. I guess that was Squall's or Irving's
like redemption arc. So, we don't know where Hidea's house is. Here's a wind hill, desert prison, Dillon City, Camber, Dalit, Kalam, FH, the Shooting Village. Oh, there's this interesting crater. I don't know why that's this here for. Huh? The cage is going berserk. Huh? I guess it just doesn't want us uh, flying over that. Well, now that we have access to the garden, there's a lot that we can do. Um, it's actually going to be faster to go up from the bottom, right? Because it is a globe. Alright, so it loops. Uh, actually, I think they want to save here and come back to this. But uh, I gotta get to where I can save because I can't save. If I open the menu here, it just takes me back inside, and then I have to find a save point inside. And the only one I know of is in either the infirmary or in whatever. Of course, I've played this game before, so... Oh, hey, there's a chocobo for us. So I know exactly where Adia's house is. It's on the central continent. Um, and I didn't expect to get here so quickly. There we go. This place looks familiar. Yeah, can I go inside? Oh, it's these things. We haven't encountered any of these yet. Oh. We forgot the junction. Or... Let's see if we can draw from them. This is Adia's house. I get the feeling there's something nearby, something huge nearby. I don't remember this part of the game, so. Whoa! That's right! I guess we're here already. Yeah, I wasn't sure where the plot was taking us, so it's time for some side quests because I ain't ready to do that shit. So we're gonna look for something else instead from this oddly crater looking continent. Hmm. 
but let us... No, we gotta find a beach. I think I'm stuck in here. There's a beach. This is a beach? This is a bathtub. I mean, the central continent. Um, I've forgotten where it is on the map. Oh, we just fell off the cliff. There's a chocobo um, for us there. We'll do that eventually. I might do that when we get Ragnarok. Um, but in the meantime, I'm looking for some place. I could have sworn it was around here. Maybe it's further south. We'll know it when we see it. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. So, girlfriends, we were learning Dark Side. Why were we learning Dark Side? We need to encounter none. Maybe we should do something else. Oh, let's get that speed junction because that's super important. There's still like tons of uh, these things I haven't even like uh, summoned yet. So these girlfriend abilities are actually what I've been doing last. Of course, that's why I'm not summoning them, so they're not very strong at all. Um, I'd really like to have... Um, encounter none, but maybe we can do it with the encounter half. And actually, I don't know if I'm ready for this place yet. Let's just use a tent. There sure is a timer in there. I am Odin. This is my blue heaven. And that is a Tonberry. So there are two girlfriends that we can get from this place. And we are going to try and get one of them. weird, just a floating cube. Let's see if we can actually make it our way.
Yeah, this is a massive waste of time. Because we've got to get there with enough time to defeat Odin. Uh, because when that timer reaches zero, um, well, let's just hope the timer doesn't reach zero. I don't understand what's going on here, but whatever. Ladders are made of light stone. That's a fast way up. Kind of half has really been doing the work. Oh, it's one of these things. Uh, we don't have time. Actually, if I fail, I mean, that's a waste of 20 minutes, but... Let me... Come on, get, let, let me get on the ladder, please. Thank you. Two. I just want to verify that real quick. the eyes in the other one. Uh, these things. Then we don't have time. So we put the eyes in the other one. And I believe it reveals a door. 
underneath it there, and we have to put the code in the door, and then that works. Right? I don't know, I'm not like reading this off of anything, this is just pure from memory. Oh, that lets us put us in the code. Five. Excellent. Prepare thyself. The weak shall perish, the strong shall trial. Prevail over my sword, and I shall grant it to thee. For honor, let us fight. So yeah, this is a scary ass boss fight. That's Odin on an eight-legged horse named Sleepnir. Well, I'm only seeing um Wait, well, let's scan it, scan it before. It's gonna give us the big old question mark. Okay, 7,300 health. Legendary girlfriend that sleeps in the dungeon. Zentetsuken. Or Zen. Zen I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Cuts anything that stands in its way. So that stands for Iron Cutting Sword. Also, while we're scanned, the timer goes down. Um. Go ahead and haste. Draw Odin. We have a couple question marks. We have stops and doubles. Nine deaths. Six triples. Okay, we're gonna draw from this guy. Um, let's I want those triples. And I think I can, in like 8 minutes, do 7,300 health. Uh, especially when we do this. We don't need any defenses. We're not gonna mad rush it. Oh, that was not a whole lot. Cast Aura on Squall, you can see how great that is, but uh... Actually, we're gonna cast Berserk on Squall, because he's gonna attack every turn. Okay, but that's gonna do absolutely nothing, so it's a waste of time. Right, because the timer still goes down while we're doing that. Um, but, as you can see, Squall attacks so quickly. Yeah, this is our ticket to defeating him quickly. It's not about how many turns we take. Let's get some more deaths. Should put haste back on board. Actually, we're gonna get some more time to draw. 
Because this is what we're going to be doing a lot. Because I think we've got this. We only need to hit him 14 times, and that's it. We got a G Mega Potion. We got Odin's card. Uh, girlfriend received 2018. We're going to learn some various stuff. Thou art strong, mortals. I shall grant thee my powers. Call upon me in times of trouble. So we got a new girlfriend. Let's check it out. Wait, what? What? It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh... Odin is special. Odin can't isn't junctioned, but will appear randomly and kill monsters for us. It's great. Okay, that's just his phone now. But like I said, there's another uh There's another uh GF we can get here. We can junction. So might as well grab it. Um we might be able to... Let's actually... What am I doing? Oh. And I should have just gone down the, the stairs. The thing is, Squall's actually not hitting as hard as he could. But we're gonna do mug instead. We need to be mugging things because we need the items from them. Let's be real. Actually, we should have mugged from uh, Odin. Too late. Yeah, now that encounter rate is normal. Now we're just gonna. Looking for these little very non threatening um, Let's see what their deal is and see how much health they have. They have so much health. I don't think we can do this. Everyone's grudge. This deals damage based on how much damage was dealt to it in the last turn. It's a counter ability. And it one shot him. You know what? I don't think I'm ready to kill those things. So yeah, let's use... Yeah, it might just be a thing. We're just not strong enough. Uh, you have to do a lot of damage. Yes, they level up, but I don't think I have as much HP overall. Out. Power them. I don't know, maybe I'll look into it. Uh, maybe I'll look up strategies or something. But I just feel like uh, I don't think I'm ready to actually deal with the Tonberries. I think they're a thing that you're supposed to run away from when you first encounter them. Because they scary. They very scary. Uh, oh yeah, and they walk towards you if they ever get close enough. Um, they uh, murder you. So yeah, I think that's a good stopping point. We got ourselves one of the strongest girlfriends. We're ready to 
take on idea and actually I think that's most of uh, disc 2 done um, I'll check to see if there's any other side quests that we can do before then that we ought to do um, yeah because there's a lot to get done once we uh, once we take on the uh, or well once we take on the garden well, that's it for me for now.